Hey everybody. Hi, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Los Angeles Comic Con at the Los Angeles Convention Center. We're here to check out all the geeky things and see the nerdy cosplay. Come with us on this adventure. Just getting into the convention, we ran into about two dozen Spider-Man taking a photo on the stairway. It was a cool moment to see all the Peter Parkers interacting, and there was also Spider-Man Noir from Spider-Man into Spider-Verse. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Wait, can you solve that thing? No. <laughs> it's all the same color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. That is the best. Oh, you got like worms. You can see them in your mouth. That is so good. He has worms. <laughs> Cosplaying ain't easy. We found a booth that's doing tattoos, and I got distracted. It matches my backpack. They have a lot of Back to the Future options for tattoos. Yeah, a lot of nerdy things. Oh my god. Excuse me? This artist's business card is actually pretty damn cool. This place is called Le Poot Cotton Candy and they have a bunch of interesting like shapes and it looks like very Japanese style cotton candy. <laughs> the Spider-Verse ones. Like I'm kinda That's wanna cool. I kinda wanna get that one. Miles Morales? Yeah. I found the one booth that matters here. Underwear for women. Happy little bush. Do you really oh, want uh, Pennywise on your underwear? He's cute. No? You can't deny the genius here. I just noticed that they have some for men too. Goonies, come on, Peter. You need both of these. I kind of love this TJF shirt with Urkel and Jason from Friday the 13th. We found the May Queen from Midsummer. That's hands down the best costume I've seen so far. <laughs> I think I found my new shades. How do I look? You look really cool, Peter. So LA Comic Con used to be called Stan Lee's Comic Con. And we used to come to this and it like used to be not busy at all. Maybe it's because we were here on Sundays. But here on a Saturday, it's so crowded. It's so crowded. So be warned if you ever come to LA Comic Con. Yeah, I would say, come on a Sunday. It's a, yeah. it's a lot easier. Or just be prepared for lots of lines and lots of people. It's great. I've seen that one before. Not in t-shirt form, but Sorry. I love it. This t-shirt says Raptor Squad on it. Yeah. I don't know if that makes me want it less or more. Funko is killing it with these like movie moment series figures like they, they have Pennywise in the gutter and they also have Lock, Shock and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas like Halloween village kind of like the Christmas villages that they do. If we were to buy this we'd become broke but honestly it's very like I want it so much. Like if we just buy one piece at a time gradually we could have it. And that's not all. They even have Hogwarts from Harry Potter. This is a dangerous, dangerous place to be. We need to keep walking, I think. We need to get in the Christmas Village game. That's what we need to do. My mom actually used to, we used, I used to have a Christmas Village every year. And let me tell you, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of work to unpack and pack everything every Christmas season. <laughs> is that something you're willing to do, Peter? I mean, if it is Hogwarts, maybe. Okay, all right, let's do it. You ready? So LA Comic Con is a little bit different than San Diego Comic Con. It's a lot more vendors selling like old toys and merchandise and artists selling their products. Comic Con has a lot of like booths from studios and from big companies. Here it's a lot of 
little booths. Some booths don't even have shelves set up. Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are on stage right now, but on the show floor you can see the actual set from the Quick Stop convenience store from the new Jay and Silent Bob uh, movie. And you can get your photo in front of there. Uh, this is actually not a replica. This is actually the set from the movie. I love corgis, even though we don't have one yet. It's a good uh, sticker. <laughs> and they also have some movie posters recreated in Lego here, which includes Scarface, The Silence of the Lambs, Vertigo, and Jaws. Adorable. Got lost. <laughs> have you seen Max? Have you seen him? I have not. Where did he go? Those who will. Those who's. Oh, there, there's a dog right there. Is that Max? We're all idiots. Even though it's so crowded here, the, those chickens still take the time to like do a little dance through the walkway. One of the cool things about LA Comic Con is it takes place every year, usually on Halloween weekend. This year it takes place a little bit earlier, but what that means is there are more cosplayers than usually at a comic convention because everybody just has their Halloween outfits. How'd you even see out of there? Oh. <laughs> Jeff Victor is one of our favorite artists and he does this like pop culture evolution prints and uh, he has a couple new ones here. He has Mandalorian, he has Thanos, and he has Godzilla. He has a new book out, it's called The Ultimate Pop Culture Evolution and it goes throughout the years of cinema, pop culture, just the best stuff from that year. And it's not just cinema, it's music. It's just stuff that's relevant to that year. And I can't wait to look through this whole thing year by year. Oh, my birthday year, 1983. Let's see what was popular. Oh, oh my God, it's a sign, Ewoks. It's like it was meant to be. This is a good year, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. What were you, 1980? I got Boba Fett. Oh, you got Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. I got uh, Superman. My year's not as good as your year. <laughs> you got Star Wars too. You're Shining. Good. Yeah. Strawberry Shortcake. This is fun. Hi, I'm the artist. Yeah, where can people find this book? Uh, you can find it on my Instagram, which is Jeff Victor Art. Yes, there's a lot of Jeff Victor. There are, but only one Jeff Victor Art. I think we might have wandered into the horror section of this convention because everything over here is creepy. In Artist Alley, we found Ghost.Art. This is a guy that custom does art on soda cans. Let me show you what, this, what that means. So this is a Coke Zero can, which has been painted with the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo. And he actually has another Spider-Man can. This one's a bit more detailed. I love it. And here's a Diet Pepsi can with the Captain America logo. I like the idea of repurposing a, like a soda can as a hand painted original piece of art. Here's a series by Sarah Walter. It's all about superheroes and the foods that they love. So adorable. This is one of our favorite artists. His name is Joey Spioto. And what he does is he makes little golden books and records out of popular pop culture stuff. And Deadpool, where are you at? Uh, there we go. Peterson Auto Museum has brought some screen use and replica vehicles from movies uh, out from the big screen, including Back to the Future DeLorean, a Volkswagen from Austin Powers, and the car from Christine. This Karate Kid cosplay might be my favorite of the whole day. video check out our other comic con adventures and if you want to follow more of our adventures please hit subscribe below and 
like, thumbs up. And, and as always, we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Thanks for watching.